it's uh, <laughs> nice to be talking by myself again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you this. What is this? You might be wondering what it is, and I will tell you what it is. It is a circle of steel. You can see that, a steel circle. But it is, in truth, only a steel circle on this side. You see, can you see that, yes? And on the other side, it's a square. <laughs> <laughs> it's a silly little trick, but it's all I ever learned at school about geometry. Because, you see, circles and squares are all about geometry. And I'd like to show you how I progressed from the little steel circle to this over here. A geometrical type of illusion. In fact, a very exciting illusion. It's the, over here are all these shapes that are made of uh, circles made into spherical objects. And we've got uh, blocks and we've got triangles made into pyramids. This, however, is where they all go. This is a circle, a triangle, and um, a square. My geometry master would be proud of me remembering that. Now, of course, I do remember that angles are obtuse and some are acute. Here's something else that's cute. It's Debbie McGee. <laughs> Obviously, you paid the orchestra. <laughs> Put your hand up there, Debbie, that's the idea, and we're going to just fasten you in there. Not only do we fasten her hand in there, we fasten her legs in as well, using the shackles on the floor of the cabinet. Once we've got her into there and fastened there, we fasten the other hand in, making it virtually impossible for her to move at all. In fact, it's probably safer if she doesn't move, because look, where she is at the moment, you can see in the centre circle is her, um, well, up here is her head and shoulders, and down there are her feet. It's best not to talk about the bit in the middle. And if I turn it back, <laughs> it might start wiggling it. Now, if we just turn that back there like that, it's best that she stays exactly where she is because the initial spikes that I place in, of course, will travel around her. Now, if I put that like that and just that in there, I want the people at home to be able to see this. So if I turn it sideways like that for the camera over there, you'll be able to see them coming out the other side. Now, of course, that wouldn't affect Debbie. Debbie is in the centre. And similarly, if I take one of these and one of these, doesn't matter which ones you take, they're all solid metal spikes, and I put them into the holes like this, and I push through like that, you can see that they go through and out the back. And that's the way it is. Now, if I take another one like this and um, another one like this, I can put those in the middle like that and once I've got those in the middle like that I can take this and this and I can put those in there now unfortunately the ones that have gone through the middle might make you think that well she's down here well you might well be right but thanks to geometry and I remember that um, the spherical objects are here I put them in there in there and once I've got them in I can push them through there but she might be in the middle, so we take this out of here, and now we have bisected and trisected and quadrisected this box into various compartments. You can see now, of course, that I have only done these spaces here, here, and here. That is, of course, why these things are here. This is not a dog kennel. This, in fact, is a set of tubes. Now, if I separate the tubes like that, you can see my fingers wiggling in there, I can put it right through the middle of the box. Now, if I stick that right through there like that and get it to come out the back, I think the people at home will be able to see that coming out the back quite nicely. This square one, as we know, goes in the bottom of the box. I'll show you inside that as well. You can see inside that and we just put it through here. Now, once we've got it in there, we can just push that through like that. If I just get that in there. And once we've got that in there, it only leaves me to put this one in here. This is, of course, the last of the tubes, and they're all solid metal tubes. Well, of course, the people who are viewing at home are sitting there saying, how does he do it? Some of them are sitting there saying, why does he do it? But what you do is you get it all nicely lined up like that, so that you can then do this. I'm now going to take this and show you as every way I can right through and around and under this particular cabinet. This is a flaming torch and this ignites those two and that ignites that one. You can see right around, right through the middle of the tubes there. Some people, of course, still do not believe that they can see through everything, so we have these three left. Three more triangles made into pyramids. 
solid rods and you put one in here and when you put it in you put it in and it goes through and out there this goes in here and it goes through there and out there and this goes in here and through that side and out the other side like that and if you think she's just sneaked out round here someplace I'd be delighted to show you right round it or right through it and all the way around it like that it's called geometrics Some people believe, of course, that perhaps she isn't in there at all. But for those who are in the studio who can see there are no trapdoors or used whatsoever, I should like to just prove it to the people at home by removing the sticks slowly one at a time. Reveal to you all, ladies and gentlemen, Debbie McGee. <laughs>